Hey, it's Scotty. Let's talk about something that could be life or death for your guinea pigs. That is heat stroke, that is traveling with your piggies when it is extremely hot, that is putting them in carriers. When guinea pigs are in carriers, especially really small ones, there's so many different types. There's these small fabric ones, there's these cat carriers, there are all different types of carriers. When you put your guinea pigs in those carriers, they can get hot. The material that those carriers are made with can get extremely hot. Everything can get very hot in the summertime in direct sunlight, and you've got to take precautions. I always recommend that you actually use one of these pet store cages. You can put bedding down, you can put either pine shavings, which tends to sometimes be cooler than fleece. You can put a frozen water bottle. This is a must to have a frozen water bottle. You put it in a sock, you put it next to your piggies in the carrier or in the cage. I really, really recommend using a small pet store cage instead of one of these carriers. You, if you have multiple pigs that, that live together, they can easily fit together comfortably in these smaller pet store cages. We're talking a cage like this. You put them in a carrier that's small, that's gonna get way too hot. You have one of these small pet store cages that are still five times the size of these carriers. These carriers are just really they look cool, they're just being marketed to you, but they don't actually do as good a job at keeping your piggies cool. When you travel for more than five, 10 minutes down the road, you want something bigger with good airflow. You can put a towel over these pet store cages. It's really a better option than a carrier. But if all you have is a carrier and you need to go somewhere, you've got to put a frozen water bottle in there. I hear all these horror stories every summer about piggies who go for a health check or they go for some, you know, maybe they have the sniffles, they have something. If your guinea pig has a respiratory infection, that is something that needs to be dealt with sooner rather than later. But it's not the same acute emergency as heat stroke. So imagine you take your guinea pig to the vet because they've been sneezing. You know, you get a course of antibiotics and that should get your piggies all better. But instead they end up getting heat stroke and die. Just, it doesn't make sense. Or if God forbid you are taking your piggies to get their nails clipped or, or a haircut or something like that. And then they end up dying of heat stroke because you didn't take the proper precautions to keep them cool. Just because you have air conditioning doesn't mean that your piggies aren't going to get too hot in the sun or when you are there and you're waiting to be helped. Your carrier it doesn't have good airflow. Even the best designed carriers are not as good as a cage that can have good airflow and even the best cage with good airflow still a frozen water bottle and if you can't do this then maybe that health check is not necessary maybe you clip your piggy's nails at home you know a guinea pig with ridiculously long nails that are two months uh, overgrown is still not as bad as them having heat stroke you know I just I, I don't know what to do to impress upon people. Uh, and, and, and when I'm at the rescue, I see people coming in, their piggies are overheating. They're in these tiny, tiny carriers. In fact, someone came last week for boarding and their guinea pig, they, they brought a tub and tiny shoe boxes, like literal shoe boxes without any holes in them. And they were gonna put their guinea pigs in the shoe box. It's 95 degrees outside. The shoe box and the bin is in the sun getting hot and you touch the plastic and it almost burns you. Even if you put that back in the car with air conditioning, it's still so hot and how long is it gonna to take to cool down? Please, please, please. I don't wanna hear any more heartbreaking stories. Just imagine, put yourself in their shoes. Here comes Pippi. <sighs> So I wanna make this video as short as possible. I'm gonna end it here. 
so that someone can see the title, the description, and they will think, oh, this is a short video and it will help me and it will help everyone. So please hit that like button and maybe this video will get to more people. It's just, it's not worth the risk and it can be the difference between life and death. Get a bunch of water bottles right now, put them in the freezer, keep them there. Get some, a pile of socks, put them in your drawer next to where your front door is so that you can grab a water bottle, you can put it in a sock and you can put it in your carrier. And you must have a small cage that you, the pet store convinced you to buy that's been sitting in the closet you know, you can make a CNC cage like this, but you can make it a two by two. You can make it any size that you want and you can make a little custom carrying cage. Now, I actually have an entire video about how to travel with your guinea pigs and I'll put that right here. There are some carriers that I like that I recommend, but it really depends on the situation. But on these very, very hot days, you want something with really good airflow. So check this video out and it shares the most important strategies for traveling on the road with your piggies. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.